going to choose your country over your party. So can you please take your job more seriously, Senator? I would really appreciate it. We would all appreciate it. I'm sorry we disagree on this. That's not an answer! Come on! Shame on you! Shame on you! Republican Senator Jeff Flake feeling the heat, shall we say, in Arizona last night as a town hall turns into a ruckus. The Arizona Republic reporting that the DNC emailed its supporters in the state urging them to, and I quote, go get in Jeff Flake's grill. Is that constructive? Does it suggest perhaps that this rage is not quite as real as it may seem? Joining me right now, radio talk show host Gina Loudon, The Weekly Standards, Kelly Jane Torrance, and liberal commentator Wendy Osefo. Good to have you all here. I should point out, by the way, we did call the DNC. We got no response from them. Gina, what do you think when you see that kind of outrage and you know that the DNC has already emailed everyone in the area saying, hey, go out here, get in his grill? Imagine that, Trish, you getting no response from the DNC. <laughs> At some point, you would think the DNC would get the message, Trish, that they need to act like adults. This astroturfing that people understand to be astroturfing did not result in anything constructive at the ballot box for them, and it isn't going to now either. We know this is astroturfing, and it never results in votes. And if they want to lose in 18 and 20, I guess I'd just say thank you right now because it's not looking good for them if they continue these immature tactics. Well, you know, Wendy, they're trying to rile their base. Uh, you're a liberal, so I, I want to get your sense of things as to whether or not you think this is effective. They're trying to get uh, Jeff Flake out of there come 2018. Is it going to mm -hmm. work? doing things like this. Well, to be honest, first of all, my hat's off to Senator Flake for even going into the war zone when so many in the GOP have chosen to have office hours or to have uh, phone conversations. But uh, for me, it's not necessarily the, the means, it's really the ends. And while there are definitely some pivots that could be made with this strategy, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it does not negate what the message is. The message is that the people want some change. Uh, whether this will result in any effective strategy change, that's yet to be yeah, seen. But, you know, uh, I mean, come yeah. on, if these are higher hands out there or just you know plants pretending they want change I don't know is that's as effective as people that really actually feel it and want it Wendy yeah, but I, I, again, that doesn't negate this. And I don't want the, the narrative to now be turned to say, oh, are these people, or is the anger real? No, the anger is real. The, 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 the feeling for a change is definitely real. Uh, mm -hmm. However, the strategy, again, may need some pivots. But again, that does not negate the fact that people want to see some change. And, you know, and we're going to see that 18 and 20. Kelly Jane, I don't know, as, as we will see change in the way of the strategy itself, I mean, isn't this, a, isn't this kind of what we've seen from the left? Isn't this their mo you, you get a bunch of protesters to go out there and cause a big ruckus and you get a little attention for it and as gina points out it didn't do them any good well and you can tell it was orchestrated by the fact that the people at the town hall overwhelmingly support obamacare but if you look at polls the country at large does not. And in fact, they do want change. Only 26% of Americans in a recent poll said they don't want any changes to Obamacare. Well, the people at that town hall, uh, they want to keep Obamacare just as it is. Now, is this an effective strategy? I don't know if it'll get anything done, but I will tell you this. It's certainly getting liberals and progressives in the media. You know, Donald Trump, ever since he announced his candidacy, has dominated the media, and he still does as president. So liberals, uh, progressives are looking for new ways to get on, and everyone well, loves drama, I, I don't so know this certainly it's, works. It's so new. I mean, Gina, they, they've been doing this all along. I mean, think of all the protests at the Donald Trump rallies. You know, think of, and we know that some of those people were actually planted. I mean, this is right out of the playbook and it, it, it doesn't really change what people are actually feeling. And we saw that, right? I mean, this election was all about that. It was a referendum on everything that the left had delivered to America. 
And Wendy makes a great point, actually. If you want to look at outcomes, the outcome of people acting like this is only going to be less communication one on one with our elected representatives. I don't think that's an outcome that Republicans mm -hmm. or Democrats uh, want to elicit. Furthermore, the people calling for get up in your grill, while it may sound cute and gangster, is really is talking to these young people who have already demonstrated they're not altogether rational. If you're going to go parade around Washington, D.C. in the streets dressed as female genitalia, I'm not sure how safe it is to be telling some of these people who may not be thinking so rationally and are in an emotional state from their loss uh, to get up in the grill of anybody. So I don't see where the productivity is in this, mm -hmm. except for I think it'll bode well for Republicans in the long term. Perhaps. All right. Good to see all you guys. Thank you so much.